guess who's back on my channel? My mom is here. Hi. So a few weeks ago, we went to Target, we bought random stuff, we came back here and we painted on it. We repeated this at Michael's and you folks seem to love it. So my mom and I went to Home Goods. We went on a ridiculous shopping spree. Lots of stuff. Yes. How long did we spend in there? Way too long. <laughs> Two hours? <laughs> it was ridiculous. And we got a lot of stuff that we're gonna be painting on. We'll probably only have time to paint on one thing each in this video, but if you wanna see more, comment down below because I bought more stuff. So these things are kind of artsy. First thing I got is this really cool pencil holder, and I thought it would be really fun to paint this from the paintbrushes. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? <laughs> And I got another one. It's square. But look. And it's spinny. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> okay, do you want to show them what else we got? Okay, we got... Is this, are they bamboo? Yes. Bamboo. Just some bamboo spoons. Some are slotted. Some are just plain, I guess. That'll be fun. I don't know what these are. They're just really cute wood trays. There's yeah. two of them here. And I don't know. We must have been in like a wood tray type mood when we well, were in that there. aisle for like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> we spent like an hour in one aisle. It was amazing. <laughs> Let's pull out the big thing. The same time? Yes, same time. This is going to get wild. <laughs> Mine's a spinny tray. Yeah. So we have acrylic paint. We have... Do you want to show them that panel? Oh, yeah. Because I'm not an artist, but I do furniture. So I'm going to show y'all how to crackle with some Elmer's glue. Yeah. My friend Chloe just came out with new paint brushes, so we're going to use them. So we are not using crusty brushes today, unless we venture into my cup over there. <sighs> I think I'm going to paint... <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to paint this if it fits on the desk. By the way, this this was $19.99. Oh. I think mine... Yep, mine was $19.99 too. What one now is in there? It's heavy. These are really heavy. I need to decide what I want to do. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm looking for my color. This is this is pretty close. <laughs> that gave me a heart attack. Yeah, it was me. You guys are gonna get the crash course here because you really have to let this paint dry so I have a hair dryer to speed this up but it's really easy to crackle paint with Elmer's glue and you can do anything wood she has do. done a lot of furniture yeah you can do it like on canvas anything <sighs> look a non crusty palette mine still has a little crust on it so do I just spooge this in here mm-hmm I'm thinking something folk arty. My mom's saying all my brushes are crusty. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ooh, this is not the color I thought it would be. This is on clearance for a reason. It's really stringy. Ooh, where'd you get that one? I like that. Does it dry darker? This one? Yeah. It came out a lot lighter in the tube. You can use it if you want it. Ooh. It's kind of weird consistency. You know what would be kind of cool? If I kept the edges of this wood, like exposed wood. Alright, about to test these brushes. Doesn't it make you nervous sometimes? No. It's $20. Wow, oh, these are nice brushes. I wonder I can't see what I'm doing. That's much better. <laughs> This wood is really bumpy. Yeah, it's almost like um, like it was milled. Like they purposely, to distress it or age it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Which, I mean, that's fine because the crackle is kind of like an aging and distressing. So I don't mind it. It just gives it a little more character. And this you don't have to be real neat about. You just slap the paint on. Are you I'm, gonna put it on your dining room table? Mm-hmm. That think would I'm, be really cute. I'm due to do another piece of furniture. I've been itching to do something. Hey, do you want to update them on the greenhouse? Yeah. Um, actually, thanks to all of you. Thank you very much. Um, I'm very touched. Um, we started buying parts for the greenhouse, and um, 
we're not actually doing a kit we are designing and building it ourselves from the ground up so it, it's a little sturdier but also in the event that we know um, crazy weather is coming we can take it apart um, quickly so we don't lose everything again um, and I'm hoping let's see what is it February I'm hoping by April um, to have the greenhouse back up and filled with plants again so I'll have to um, keep you updated which um, I'll probably do that through my story so if you follow me you will see what's going on I'll put her Instagram on the screen. Yeah, I am the naughty botanist. That I had like just enough. Don't you love when that happens? I am just that good. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so yeah, when you do crackle, you can use, um, I've used just acrylic paint like this. Um, I've also used latex paint, like, you know, like the gallons of paint that you use to paint your walls. Um, that works really well. Um, I can that on bigger pieces of furniture to crackle. Um, you just have to make sure whatever base coat that you put down, it's totally, totally dry before you do the next step. So I have a crusty cup like this too. Mine has a handle on it though. I don't really wash mine. It's like a game. Really. I know. It's like a piece of art in itself. It is. How many times have you drank your paint water? I don't know, maybe like once or twice. That's it? I think so. I must I have mean, done I mine. Use, I use these tumblers, so I don't drink my um, paint See, water mine very has much. like a handle on it, and because I drink coffee, you mm -hmm. know how many times I've picked that up and drank the nasty water? Probably more than you care to admit. <laughs> I feel like you're judging me. <clears throat> you almost need one of them angled brushes. So See, you you're judging cut. me. No, I'm not. We have our base coats done. And now I'm gonna start going in, doing some details. She's still waiting on hers to dry a little bit. So that's all good. Palette at the ready. I think I'm gonna do something kind of folk arty. Something, I don't know, my rug is inspiring me right now. See that? Yeah. Let me start with a border of gold. So what are you doing? Oh, I'm gonna decorate the corners of mine now. This is kind of feels a little tacky. I probably should let it dry a little longer, but feeling brave. So this is so cool. And it's the cheapest, cheapest thing you could do to make a crackle paint finish. So I'm going to take my Elmer's glue. And I've only ever used Elmer's glue. I've seen people using like other wood glue and I don't know other stuff but I've never tried it I've had the best results with this or you could actually buy crackle medium and it's very expensive um, and you're just basically buying some sort of glue so this is do it yourself oh this is a, this is a weird color should I have shook that up how old what is this mean? it's like clear hold on is that normal no glue is supposed to Elmer's glue is like white it looks white to me you know like when you you don't shake up your mustard Mm -hmm. And you gotta put it on a sandwich. I just had some glue juice. I just had some glue juice. <laughs> <laughs> the thicker you put this on, the thicker and deeper the cracks. So I am going to start though. You know what? No, I'm not gonna crackle that little bit. I'm gonna leave that teal. So we are just going to do a light coat around the edge. <laughs> what are you doing? It's my green though. So yeah, we'll just slap this around the edge and you'll see what I'm doing up top. So, I always try to apply the glue all in one direction as well. 
and you don't have to like be real neat about it we're just gonna slop this puppy up so yeah where the glue's thicker <laughs> <laughs> i love how i'm over here like all tense and like doing these curly cues and you're like doing a tutorial <laughs> in the same video <laughs> Well, that's why I thought maybe you wanted to try this, too. You've never done crackling, have you? I don't think so. That's but I'm it's, learning. It's kind of not your... Your... I don't know. What, what's the word I'm looking for? Your style? Is it? I don't know. I would probably try it. I mean, I... Well, you're always I a marketplace. I front row seat. Yeah, but you're a marketplace all the time. And I just thought maybe you'll find some cute little piece of furniture or something and want to try something different basically we decided to film this video like i don't know what time it even is it's kind of late it's late yeah it's 8 46 past my bedtime i'm usually in bed now i'm old so i'm drinking coffee leaving real thick areas that creates thicker cracks thick over here i like talking to myself yep <laughs> Just not now. It's all the time, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> Sometimes I need great advice. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We need to let the glue somewhat dry. This is the tricky part. Because when you put the paint on top of the glue, as the glue finishes drying, that's what separates the paint and gives it the crackle. I miss painting. See, isn't it fun? It's fun. Can you find the cadmium yellow out of this basket? Cadmium yellow hue. That's what it's called. This wood is very textured, so it's kind of hard to do intricate designs. So this is probably gonna be more on the simple side, and that's okay. My bougie mom comes in here with a whole actual gallon of paint. That's how we do it. <laughs> you don't want to let the glue dry all the way, but it has to have, whoops, well, I guess it's not quite, whoopsie. Huh. It has to have a skin formed over the top of it. Most of this is good, but I did put it a little thick in some places. Wow, that was satisfying. I just love how we're doing two very different things. I know. Actually, mine needs to sit up just a little more. A little more. I just, I just boofied it. It looks kind of cool like that. Like it could, if it could, if that was paint, the white. It would that could be a whole nother paint session. I could show you how to distress. <laughs> <laughs> That's the middle. Okay. I really need to have a spa day for my brushes. Mm -hmm. Seriously, I couldn't use anything back there. They're yeah, so they're crusty. Really... Can't overwork the paint. One and done. So we are going to quickly go around the sides and then we will do the top. I love how there's just a whole gallon of paint. Well, I know. But... It's great. It's a great way to use up what we have though. You know? It's great coverage and I needed a big brush so I can just one and done it. So hopefully this turns out. Yeah, you want to load up the paint and then one swipe and don't go back over it because it kind of activates the glue. And as the paint dries, it should crackle. I know I said don't go back over it. But I am because I didn't put enough on there. And like a little mandala thing in the middle. 
All right, I'm gonna check for little runs on the sides. Oh, it is starting to crack. This was fun. I like doing this. I am really close to your face. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It takes a while, but it'll... It'll crack? Yeah. Do you have to seal it in with anything? <clears throat> no, yeah. Actually, that's another part I'm going to add. Um, I use finishing paste, which I don't have here. So I'm just going to say when I go home, because I'm using it like as a piece of furniture, I'm going to apply finishing paste to seal it. That's like a main question my art family always asks with my projects is what, how I seal my stuff. So I just wanted them to know mm, yeah. in case they go to try this. You know, we've had quite a busy week with you here. We've been like doing plant stuff. We've been painting, playing with the babies. Yeah. And it goes so quick. I'm going home in what, two days? Mm-hmm. And I'm not looking forward to it, just not for the simple fact because I'll miss you, but I'm driving back and I never drive this. Yeah. But what's cool is I bought a lot of plants while I was up here, so I'm taking a lot of plants home, which I normally can't do that when I fly, so. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm gonna go clean that the sink just because that's got latex paint in it. And unlike you, I don't like to leave my brushes crusty. Wow. You hear this shade? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm going to go clean this one out too. That took such a long time and when I look up at the camera, it just looks so tiny. <laughs> I don't want this to have like a ton though. I am seriously so excited for spring. Like, I think that's why I keep doing all these botanical folk arty things, kind of like my hydro flask video. We're back. It's another day. I'm taking this gold color here and I'm going to finish out this section in the middle. I feel like this is just so disorganized. You're doing something, I'm doing something. Yeah, you're like over there giving a tutorial and I'm over here like. So, I'm just gonna do a little dry brushing on the green part and dry brushing is basically like you want to almost wipe all the paint. I cannot take you like, seriously. Like, see, back off your brush. Am I doing this correctly no, so people can see? No, you have to get see? it to focus. Lift it. Okay, come so. you look at that screen finder and keep holding your brush and hold it up there closer. See, it's not showing very well. Line it in the center. Now I will focus it. Now hold it there for a sec. Now it's focused. Okay, very dry. Can everybody see what I'm doing? <laughs> going to very... If you would like to keep following my mom, <laughs> she's one of the funniest people I know. No, not really. You are. You really are. And you should look at her Instagram reels. They're top notch. <laughs> when I'm in a mood. Oh, that's a little too much pain. Um, did you just see how much the whole table is shaking? Okay. <laughs> Here, how about I do it like this? It's okay, it's just giving you cash. Oh, that really made it stand out more. Well, I think I'm going to do some along the sides, too. Oh, <laughs> it's inside here. <laughs> We the don't. world's blackest, maddest paint. All right, so we're just gonna do. Ooh, why does it look so burbly? Look at that. Yeah, that's just it's old. I might not need to add a whole lot of water. This is great. This is how I splatter. Yep, it's perfect. I, I do that, anymore. but I use my hand. Oh really? Mm -hmm. So okay. I don't want to get. I hope I don't get this all over my clothes. I am so messy when I do this. Why don't you should, you know, preventative action is better than corrective. 
Excuse me? <laughs> what are you saying? In the science field, we call it preventative action. You would take that off before you go on. I would rather get it on this than on my, my oh, Under no Armour t-shirt. I am, I'm going to like... No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna load the brush up and then just little dots, just to give it like an old look. You can do more if you like or less. I think that's good. I don't want it too crazy. And I think you should do another flick. Maybe right a up little, here, little flick over here. Yeah. There, it looks balanced now. Okay, I'm gonna try to get a little on the sides too. Look at this stance and everything. She, the artist in action. <laughs> this is weird because this is exactly the finish I did on my bar. It matches perfect. All right, art fam, we finished our projects. My mom just washed her face and changed her clothes <laughs> because she got paint all over her. All over. <laughs> so do you want to show them your turntable? The old crackle finish. And it's spin. Isn't that sweet? She's going to put her plants on it. Yeah. So on my table. It's going to look so cool. She is where I probably get my love for plants and art. Mm -hmm. so. Well, plants, you're the artist. You're creative, look what you just did. Yeah, I'm a painter. You're an artist. You're an artist. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So here's my tray. That's beautiful. It's pretty bohemian. I actually ordered rub and buff for this metal stuff and I will turn it gold later. They are both very heavy wood yeah. pieces. If you would like to customize like really high quality but affordable very affordable things, were home they goods. Like $19.99 each? Yeah, they were $19.99. Yeah. So that's a good deal. Yep, hers. Yep. This even has like felt things <clears throat> so it doesn't slide. Oh, look, mine does too. Does it? Oh, how nice. Anyway, thank you for hanging out with us, making some art. I hope this makes you feel inspired to do some DIY thing for your house too. So we've hit up Michael's, Target, and Home Goods so far for this series on my channel. Thrift store is coming soon. Mm -hmm and I have some other cool customizations coming soon too, so keep your eyes peeled. If you wanna follow my mom, she's getting ready to open her plant store again. Yay. And yeah, I will put her Instagram handle right up here. It's called The Naughty Botanist. You can check her That's out. me. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>